Welcome to another video of psychotherapy integration, mainly uh, psychotherapy inter integrative models. My name is Pedro Rodrigues Gilbert. I'm a psychologist from Portugal. And today I would like to give you a brief introduction of mindfulness-based cognitive therapy or MBCT for short. So, um, mindfulness-based cognitive therapy is an, in, is an integra integrative uh, psychotherapy model that generated from what we called the third wave of cognitive behavioral uh, therapy models, as for example, uh, DBT, uh, schema therapy, um, ACT, and, and other versions of uh, of cognitive behavioral therapies. Uh, in those days, cognitive behavioral therapy was influenced by a lot of approaches, a lot of um, different concepts, and a lot of uh, different strategies that were integrated and general and and create different uh, models, uh, not only from a theoretical perspective and a case conceptualization perspective, but also from an intervention standpoint. And mindfulness-based cognitive therapy is no exception. This model was uh, explored, created or, or studied by Mark Williams, Zinden Siegel, and other colleagues. Um, the model is pretty, is pretty simple uh, in its introduction. If you really think about it, <laughs> mindfulness-based cognitive therapy is cognitive therapy integrated with mindfulness. So, what Mark Williams and other colleagues uh, did was they developed an interest in uh, in a specific program called mindful uh, mindfulness based stress reduction, uh, and this program was developed created by John Kabat-Zinn. Uh, Highly, uh, widely recognized as one of the one of the persons that uh, popularized mindfulness in um, in the Western community. So, as you might know, John Kabat-Zinn is a physician. He is a medic, and he was trained and taught by a Buddhist monk. Uh, in that. In his teachings, uh, John Kabat-Zinn developed or helped develop what is known as uh, mindfulness. Uh, and mindful mindfulness has two sides: uh, the the pre uh, side of being mindful, mindful, the principles, the the the, the principles that someone. Um, someone guides his own life and the other side is the side of formal and informal practices so um, what we uh, know know as mindfulness is really a translation of um, total awareness or total awareness in the present moment in the present time without judgment without criticism without um, without any attachment uh, only focused in the in the present in the moment um, with compassion and accepting what is happening what is developing and knowing that what happens is only a moment it will uh, begin it it will start it will develop and eventually it will end so 
it's a continuum. Uh, what uh, Williams and his colleagues uh, did was uh, integrate or develop a form of integrate of in integrate, sorry, uh, some of the principles and some of the main features of the mindfulness-based ba stress reduction program into therapy. Uh, it's important to to know that MBSR, mindfulness-based stress reduction, isn't a therapy model per se. So what Williams and his colleagues did was to integrate, integrate mindfulness and his uh, strategies and its principles into cognitive behavioral therapy. So, um, what you may notice in mindfulness-based cognitive therapy is the, the inclusion of certain principles, acceptance, commitment, um, total awareness, being in the present moment, uh, without judgment, and really in the position of openness to receive whatever it brings us, um, allowing ourselves to think and to feel and to behave as as we as we can and as the situation develops and and truly is without any coping strategies so really it's as an introduction mindfulness based cognitive therapy it's as simple as this so it's cognitive therapy or cognitive behavioral therapy with the specific application of mindfulness. Um, Mindfulness-based cognitive therapy is a research-based model, so it, it has um, good results towards uh, depression and anxiety, for example, and other uh, emotional uh, disorders. So nowadays it's a very popular way of working um, especially in new waves of cognitive behavioral therapy and mindfulness is uh, truly a rich and very helpful tool to manage uh, emotional distress um, and it's only a small part if you integrate the the principles of mindfulness in your in your way of life and your way of being uh, mindfulness will develop in something more a lot of people only only um, uh, give uh, more emphasis in the meditate in the meditative meditative side and uh, the, the practices side of mindfulness, but it's truly way more than only the, um, uh, the technical part. Uh, so, as an introduction, I don't have much more to say about mindfulness-based cognitive therapy. Uh, as some reading recommendations, I will um, link or I will give you some suggestions of um, uh, Williams and colleagues' works about, um, about mindfulness-based cognitive therapy, some models that you can explore and you can go into more depth, depth in, uh, and in MBCT. So, I'll, uh, I, will, I wish you a good week. Please continue to be, sa to, be, to be safe, continue to be healthy, and I'll see you next time.